Hey everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Forecast. I am your host, Angela Blaha. The energies this week of July 31st to August 6, 2023 are creating a bit of confusion. <laughs> so the big energy, of course, is the full moon energy, which brings a feeling of security. But I find it really interesting, super interesting, actually, that it wants you to focus on structure, rules, and goals at the same time it supports um, an all or nothing mentality. So I guess you're either in it or you're not, but you get to decide either way. As we move further and deeper into this full moon energy, it becomes a bit more complex. There are many energies that want to play, be heard and be seen, and they are creating a mixed bag from which you get to choose, again, empowering your ability to make decisions. So here are the energies to pick from, I guess. <laughs> One thread has a team spirit, group mentality, and a community focused. Another thread creates a conflict with this team mentality, while yet another thread brings up feelings of insecurity, buried feelings, and circumstances that have been overlooked for years. At the same time, there's a threat of confidence, faith in yourself, and humanity. And you get a bit excited about life, but no fret, the threads continue. <laughs> One supports feeling really free and supports new plans for the future. So as I said, it's really a mixed bag of energies with this full moon. Um, and it continues kind of throughout the week or it plays out throughout the week. So one thing that is consistent in all these energies is this overwhelming sense of achievement. Which means no matter which thread that you align with, uh, you will feel a deep willpower and a sense to achieve it. No matter what. That's the one overriding consistency. To top it all off, there is a flip side to this energy, of course, and this creates pressure to your desires. This is where you have to be watchful of your communication. We've worked on this all year. Criticism, challenges, and delays are likely creating doubt, leaving you feeling even more complex. So I recommend that you do not think too much about any of this really align where you will and just go with the energy. Be very watchful and be hyper aware of your words as this is the deciding factor that will allow you to just flow or it will create a breakdown. As we move through the week, things sort themselves out kind of um, and you will bring your focus to what you really, really want sooner or later. However, if you want to move through this energy more quickly, focus on happiness within uh, this energy or any of these kinds of threads, like really let the focus be on happiness and it will help you choose a thread and it will bring you uh, your focus to what you want to decide or what you want to make clear. If you do this, you will find that you are looking towards the extraordinary because these threads seem to feel a bit boring. Like, you know, you've done that kind of thing. So happiness is what you will use, the feeling, the emotion that you will use to create, um, to create happiness. And it is the, also the key to moving out of this mixed bag of energies very quickly. The upside to this mixed bag of energy, it literally forces you to move beyond where your independence, your equality, your feeling of freedom becomes more important than the minutia. So as you can see, it may seem confusing, but it is like very powerful energy that gets you to understand the power and your strengths at a deeper level. This is really important energy. Um, because it, it 
it forces you to shift and it it um it creates this ability to rise above the minutia kind of mentality like thoughts and feelings and your spirit to literally move move above or move beyond um the minutia because and what you're looking for here is truth and happiness sort of brings you that happiness always brings you a sense of feeling true to yourself because truth is becoming so very important and your ability to move beyond minutia is also becoming really really important so enjoy your week find happiness and let yourself be free with your own knowing and truth. Like that's like, if there was to be a spotlight on something, it's you knowing and owning your truth. Um, that seems to be where you can pull yourself out of any kind of minutia, any kind of lie, any kind of contrast, if you actually focus on that and become that. As always, Please like, subscribe, and share. And you can always find more on my webpage at www.angelablaha.com. And until next week, this is Angela signing off from the cosmos.